Alan, if the jury questionnaire is any indication, federal prosecutors are concerned that Joaquin El Chapo Guzman may try to make himself look like the patron saint of drug dealers, a venerated folk figure in Mexico known as Jesus Malverde. One of the questions prospective jurors will answer if they have ever heard of Malverde, who is a Robin Hood-style character. The I-team found that question among 118 that would-be jurors in the case must answer. From the time El Chapo was arrested and brought to New York for trial, authorities suspected he would try to play up his own role as a narco saint, donating millions to social and community projects in Sinaloa, the state namesake of his cartel. And now, in this form that will be filled out by prospective jurors in his upcoming federal trial, this question, are you familiar with Jesus Malverde? He is the patron saint of drug cartels and traffickers. According to Mexican folklore, the Robin Hood figure stole from the rich and gave to the poor. The popularity of the generous bandit is seen in statues, trinkets, and other icons sold throughout the region and frequently found in drug dealers' vehicles and homes to bring good luck and perhaps ward off law enforcement. Some of them even morph El Chapo's face onto Malverde's clothing as if the two are one. In 2015, Homeland Security agents showed the I-Team a Jesus Malverde statue, among other drug world novelties found in a raid on a Metro Chicago drug stash house. The newly filed 36-page jury questionnaire includes many of the standard questions about personal history, media habits, and prior knowledge of the case, attorneys, and the judge. But the question of Jesus Malverde stands out as a symbol of just how curious El Chapo's case is. It isn't even known whether Malverde was an actual person, but he has a shrine in Sinaloa and numerous chapels in his name in Mexico and Colombia. In many cases, law enforcement on both sides of the border assume that Malverde images are an indicator of involvement with drug cartels. The names of the jurors who are actually chosen will not be made public for their own safety and security. According to the questionnaire, they can expect to hear at least a 12-week-long case from September through Thanksgiving. They mean, may need their own guardian angel. Mm -hmm. I think so. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.